Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. On this episode of Travels with Phil, we are going up to the northern edge of the United States in Glacier National Park to Kintla Lake. It's located about five miles from the Canadian border, and it's a mountainous area, and it's a bit of a drive to get out there. Looking at the map, you start where the west entrance to Glacier Park comes in at Apgar Visitor Center. Then eventually you go north along the Flathead River. You hit Pole Bridge, a lot of prairies out there. You make it to the Wirtz Cabin, then you cut across into Kentla Creek, and then eventually the lake. As you can see from the pictures here, it's a long, narrow lake, probably due to glacial action. At its closest spot, it's maybe less than two miles from the Canadian border, up to about five miles there at the southernmost point. It runs a little bit less than 400 feet at its deepest. It sits at about 4,000 feet elevation, five miles long, about a little less than one mile wide. It's about a 40 mile trip there from the southern entrance, and it takes about an hour and a half to get there by car on a good day. Thought I'd show you what a dusty road looks like. And eventually you get to a spot called Big Prairie, and this is just a gorgeous spot. It opens up Arnini Forest immediately next to you, and you can see all of those mountains there. You also see a bunch of uh, old forest cabins in the area, then the North Fork of the Flathead River moving along very nicely through there. Very nice area as far as scenic beauty is concerned. A little rough to get to, but eventually you'll also see some signs giving you some directions, warnings about the bears, be careful. Road narrows, and I thought this was a narrow road. Travels with Phil continues in Glacier National Park. This is the road to Kintla Lake, K-I-N-T-L-A. That is in the far northwestern corner of Glacier National Park. And I just thought I'd show you a little bit of the road you have to go to get back here. This is not a spot that most people get to. Obviously, it's not on the main road. Now, it's not all forest like this. There was a big prairie just before coming into the forest. And obviously, this is gonna be just a little bit bouncy. But I thought you might appreciate some of these spots that uh, very few people actually go to. And then finally, after driving for about an hour and a half, you'll start to see signs for the Kintala Lake campground. You'll see all kinds of signs about the bears too. Then finally, the lake. This travels with Phil continues from Kintla Lake. This is in the northwestern corner of Glacier National Park. And just 10 miles maybe, if that, from Canada. The guy over there wading in the water. Rowboat way out there, canoe I guess. Just resting on the top of the mountain peak there. Water is very clear here. spot a little fly fishing over there Kintla Lake, Flesh National Park.
So far, all of these pictures have been uh, my videos, but I thought I'd throw in some uh, shots from the National Park Service. These are from 1931 through 2022, and just some beautiful, beautiful pictures out there. Some older shots, you can see the rangers going through. Look at those pebbles through the water. This is just amazing. And I love these old shots. Shows you that while there are some changes that are going on, so a little bit of development here and there, you can still get the beauty from even, you know, almost 100 years ago. Travels with Phil continues at Bowman Lake, just south of Kentla Lake, on the northwestern corner of Glacier National Park. Beautiful sun. They're very reflective. It's a Saturday. A lot of folks have come up here, nowhere to park. <laughs> Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lake up here. One of the problems with the spot that's good for fly fishing, there's lots of flies. There's been a lot of mosquitoes up here. Glacier National Park travels with Phil. Back to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.